humanitarian workers in southern Sudan say they have been overwhelmed by the sheer number of refugees fleeing from the volatile Blue Nile region into the south. Thousands of desperately hungry refugees are seeking shelter in the south where food is in short supply. Kenya and the United Arab Emirates have sent in relief supplies to help the refugees. We have details of that story in this report. Sudan is native land to flee many kilometers on foot to this refugee camp in Duro, South Sudan. He arrived over a month ago with four of his surviving children. We were carrying my daughter for about three hours and she died. Then my wife died from injuries after contracting malaria. Thousands of other refugees like Joshua are fleeing from the Blue Nile region on foot to seek refuge in neighboring South Sudan. They are fleeing in droves because the Blue Nile area has become the target of frequent attacks in the conflict between the two countries. They have found temporary refuge here at this camp, but they face other difficulties here. Uh, and they've arrived with very, very limited food, no water. They arrive in very uh, um, difficult conditions. The road is, is difficult to, to go through. They are tired, they are hungry, they are sick. Hundreds of tons of food and relief supplies airlifted in from Kenya and the United Arab Emirates are being distributed by NGOs, but it's not enough. Over 40,000 refugees are living in overcrowded camps in South Sudan, and more are expected. We'll now take our second break. Sports is next. The Gambia National Paralympic Committee is calling for urgent help to send two of its athletes to the United Arab Emirates to take part in the London Paralympic Qualification Series. The GNPC has lined up a number of activities in the coming month to put their wheelchair athletes in perfect shape ahead of the March qualifiers. Our Babakar Senghor has more in this report. The dawn of a new year is a moment to reflect on the activities of the previous year, for others appear to look ahead in anticipation of what is to come. And for the Gambia National Paralympics Committee, it is a period to enhance some reputation and have a shot at some remarkable records. The GNPC, after what was a truly busy 2011-year calendar, is aiming to have two of its members prepare in time for the Wheelchair Athletics Olympic qualifiers in Dubai. The association has been making such headway that competition at home has become less of a motivation to these wheelchair racers and they are now taking aim at what is in store for them on the international stage. The team was supposed to go to uh, Mozambique on the All-African Games qualification for the Paralympic Games because mm -hmm. the Mozambique was used by the International Paralympic Committee as a qualification slot for Africa. Mm -hmm. And us not being able to take part due to lack of funding mm -hmm. was really a big setback to us, our preparation for the Paralympic Games. Uh, but basically now that um, we have this opportunity of taking the athletes to um, Dubai, mm -hmm. Uh, the reason for Dubai is that uh, Dubai has offered to give us free accommodation, food, refreshment and transport within the activity. Mm. And uh, that we have to only look for um, air tickets mm. and also pocket money for the athletes going and the officials. Mm. Despite the enthusiasm and optimism exhibited by the Paralympics members, there is something that has dogged them for years. Why weren't you participating in international competition? Well, it's because of funding, like as, as I outlined. 